I kind of missed the startup, but whatever. Um, I put the new part that holds the screw and the nut. You can't even see it. Oh, there's the nut through there. I put it around the other way because it was easier. Um, so the X-axis is now rebuilt. The screw's old. The nut's new. Re-greased and everything. Um, as always, super lube. Stuff works amazing. I put the rubber coupler back in that axis because it does help with the vibration. That motor is running 2.5 amps. This one's running 2.2 max. Of course, there's the controllers, the industrial units. Closed loop steppers from Stepper Online. Um, yeah, it's running a lot better. I don't know, you can barely see it in there, but. Yeah. It's the first layer. But the x-axis is way quieter now. Still running the SKR Pro in there and my filament system. There's no longer a sensor here because it's using a smart sensor which is down here. It's the one piece mount. Of course it was a prototype and didn't line up right so I fixed it. But whatever. Um, yeah. Again, this machine's not out to break records by any means. This is an industrial printer. It's used to print mostly molds. Uh, there's a very large print on the floor. Um, but because this prints large things that often take many tons of hours, um, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, I want repeatability, I want reliability, first and foremost. Consistency is key in this business. So the lead screws allow this giant machine, this 500 by 500 by 500 machine to run quick I would say fast especially compared to stock when I first got this thing out of the box it could barely run 30 millimeters a second this is 50 millimeters a second uh, on the first layer after it's done with this it'll pick up a lot of speed but um quiet isn't really a consideration though I do kind of like it quiet I mean we're in a warehouse in a factory it doesn't matter um Oh yeah, it's still clamped to the desk. I haven't built its new desk yet. <laughs> because it will throw itself off the desk with the weight of that bed shifting um, when doing very large prints. Coming up to the end of this one. There's more normal speed. Um, I had to wind these much tighter. These are the signal wires that run the motors. Uh, I was having trouble with it skipping steps, and it turns out it was just interference in these wires. Because uh, we're talking, what, 200 megahertz or so? Um, maximum transmission rate for the step pulse, so it, it needs some interference. I'm actually going to redo that, and the step pulse wire will be a coaxial wire. Uh, I've got some thin coax coming just for that. Antenna layer, basically. Just to, to help with uh, with interference. These spools don't fit on my spool holders. It normally lays flat, so they, they work like this, though. They work fine. You can get away with a lot. You really can. Um, but yeah, it's running great. Oh yeah, this is, a, this is a solid state relay back here. The bed has two... 120 volt 450 watt heaters on it. This is the plug that goes out to the bed This is the main power main power switch and that's the 24 volt power supply with a 12 volt and a 5 volt Step down regulators, so you get 24 volts in the big plug 5 volt 12 volt on the small plug That runs everything including the Raspberry Pi that's hanging out right back there. It's a 3b 3b plus I think on this model But yeah, that's it the whole thing run via Octoprint uh, Basically, that's it. This machine does this. Uh, it's printing a calibration cube right now. I'm going to do its steps and then put it back to work making molds. Cool.